Alright, welcome! This is my first YouTube video. My name is Lee Lacey, and today I'm going to show you how to draw Mickey Mouse's head. It's not going to look exactly like a Mickey Mouse head. It's going to be a little different. Everybody draws a little bit differently. And I didn't go and take this at Disney, so you will see something that they probably don't share the same way. <laughs> I will be using a number uh, 5B pencil, which I'm just doing it for a heavy um, which we'll use later on and then I'm starting off with an H so you can use either a, a 2B or a number 2 pencil or whatever works for you that's light and not going to be heavy and then I'm going to have erasers these are going to be just to help along afterwards um, this is my favorite, they're gummy, they're kind of like play-doh and you get off everything except for pen so let's go ahead and get started and we're going to oh, sorry. go ahead and get started with the, the number H so first, we're going to start with, is just a circle. And it doesn't have to be anything special, just as long as you have a nice little starting base. That's going to be his head, we're going to start with. So, I'm going to do it at an angle, apologize, so it might be coming off kind of odd in shape. <laughs> uh, next, we're going to go with the ears. His ears are circular in shape yet are still kind of oval. So think of an egg. Two eggs floating on Mickey Mouse's head. Um, you look at most mouse ears, they're not like this, but for his sake, he did this so that way he would connect to people a lot better being circles. In any case, getting past that. Next, we got our three circles. Everybody knows this when it comes to Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse. So we're going to make him have some more character and I'm going to make sure, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of diddle dial in to make sure I have the right one I want. But at the bottom we're going to give him a little chin. So let's do a little half pan, kind of like a soup bowl or something like that. I know it's not coming out exactly that it needs to, but it's okay. It's just broth. Next. We want to go ahead and mark out the layout. So say you want to give a big old Y and X field, or say you just want to put a big old X mark, if you're looking sideways, X mark, more like a graph. Think of a pie. We got our pie for Mickey Mouse head. Some pizza. All right, so getting back in order, let's start thinking about pizza. We're going to go half of this, you want to put a, a line. So you just mark, make it a short distance in between that, and in between this, you want to mark it in half. So say as if you're looking at a ruler and you want to go and mark down. So go from a quarter to, to three-fourths, whatnot. So from the same length of this, say if you want to make a little triangle, you can. But put two lines right there. That's going to help us out with the nose and the eyes. So from here, we'll go ahead and uh, from, from these two spots, we're going to go ahead and kind of make a hill over that too. There's a lot of hills involved. And then down from that, we've got his nose. So we're going to go ahead and put a circle oval, another egg around his nose, and then give another small one inside to the shadow. That's what Mickey Mouse is most known for. Right? So after that, we'll do two long ovals right here. These are going to be his eyes. Not to be perfect. And then down from that, which we're probably going to make, I'm going to make a little lower, so that way he's get his mouth. Um, I mean, that's where his mouth is going to be, but we want to go and not deal with that at the moment. We want to go and make sure about his, his upper part of his mouth. We want to know what's going to be going right here. When you have the big crease, when you have the happy smile. So go ahead and put a line that matches straight in the middle between his eyes across. Right there. Okay? These sides, each one of these, are going to be a top of his upper lid of his mouth or, or his cheeks when they come around, I should say, or his um, sideburns because uh, he's got his own little style. So we're going to do another kind of mountain piece right here. You can do it any way you want. Mine's different, I know it probably is. Both sides. See? Like that. And then we're going to do a big old oval circle right here. You just kind of play around with it. This is not the best description, but you just go half and then kind of emulate that on the other side. Come across here. Okay, now we're starting to get his little his hairdo or his black style right there of a mouse, so you can see his eyes. 
Um, I always wonder if that was actually hair or not. But in any case, we're going back to it. And then we want to go to his mouth. So right here, we're just going to be little creases. Let's put little happy ones. We're going to find out if my Mickey's going to look happy or if he's going to look a little bit insane. Just in a minute here. And you want to bring this line around to match almost a circle. Now come, come around right there. So it looks kind of... He's like, hmm, he's got his big chin sticking out instead. You don't see actually his mouth yet. You just like, oh, okay, he's got a big old grin smile with a huge chin. He's got a turkey neck happening. Yeah, that would be interesting if Mickey Mouse had a turkey neck. I don't know how many people would be into that. Um, and so now, forget that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add another line. And you match that with his chin. Come around here, kind of like that. So he's got like his give him some dimensions kind of coming at you. He's like, oh, yay! Yeah, Mickey, he's got, hey, look at that, he's actually got a chin that comes out. It's not a turkey neck. And then lastly, we're going to put in here, this, think of it as a heart. Um, a lot of people have different names for it when it comes to tongues, and there's all types of ways. But for young or people that like to draw hearts all the time, that's kind of halfway. It's like, there's a heart hiding inside his mouth. There you go. That's a good way to put it. And lastly, we uh, we have pretty much everything there for Mickey Mouse and how he's known. You got his nose, you got his eyes, the little top of uh, his roof of his nose, and you got the little hair piece. You got the two ears. You got the mouth. You got kind of a chin and a circle. And I think we're pretty much almost almost there. Um, we'll stand up. Yep, he's looking not too bad. He looks still kind of silly, but he's a cartoon, so I guess he's supposed to be silly. Now we're going to go ahead and darken in the lines. And with this, you can. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the camera. Um, you can do some modifications. It doesn't, uh, you don't have to go exactly with which would you have. And noticing something just right off the bat, this right here I need to actually make higher up. Because, not, not too high up, and I can make a little nizzle there, because his eyes hide behind it. Um, kind of like the sun when it's rising or falling, it's hiding over the hill. And uh, just to help give some mention and show the size difference and um, it's not like his eyes just floating around out of nowhere, uh, ping pong balls hitting it. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and first we're gonna, I'm gonna darken this in, his nose. And we're gonna make that a little bit bigger. And we're just gonna go. Mm, you can just turn that in if you want. Color it all in. Add his little nose. Do his little hump, which I just kind of messed up, but that's okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes. Yeah, turn that in. Got his other eye. Got some Mickey eyes. Ooh, yay! Now, down below, well, actually, no, we'll go up here first. Um, let's go ahead and move my arm. I'm going to make this dark. Ah, there we go, right? That's all right, shook. I'm going to wait. Maybe it will be focused for us. And now I'm going to do the other ear. There we go. And these are perfect circles. They don't have to be. Um, originally, they were really large circles that you saw in the, the in Mickey films or I should say TV show ones. And then they've kind of, they went to ovals and then they've gone large again. They've kind of gone back and forth. And now I'm just going to put him. Oops. Oh, I knocked it again. Sorry about that. I'm just going to go in right around his body, I mean his head. And we're going to. Do this too, so that way we already know about his chin. That way it won't mess us up later. Now you just fill in the lines here. Just be very light about it. You can push hard. You don't have to push hard. Um, I'm just going ahead and pushing hard for the sake of, so you can see it on the video. Uh, do the lines here. I'm going to get that. And now this is part. You know, you, once you make these dark lines, you can't go back. So just kind of go with the whim. If it comes out okay, great. If not, all right. Don't worry about it. That's why you always have other paper. You got an eraser, which I haven't used. And um, then you got your line for his mouth. Put in that heart tongue, happy heart tongue. And I'm just going to color this in for you really lightly. And happy Mickey. I hope he's coming out as a happy Mickey. Maybe he looks kind of crazy to you, or maybe, maybe he looks kind of weird. I'm not sure. I can't fully see. So, in any case, I'm going to do this really fast. This will be a lot easier to see him. 
a lot of times when they do concept art, this is what goes into it first. It's not really all the pretty goods. It's just so you can make out what the character is and where everything's supposed to be shaded. And as you can tell, see how my my pen, you know, my pencil. It's this is much heavier, soft, and it comes off faster. It's already making smudges. Um, a lot of artists will use gloves. I I tend not to, and that's why I do make a mess. <laughs> but um, if you do want to invest in that, that's a good idea. It helps for everybody from doing cartooning, the characters, the, the fine prints, um, illustration. Uh, there's there's so much if you do charcoal that really helps out. Um, it's just there's all right, but they've got some really cool, nice gloves. It looks um, for us, you know, males they would say kind of girly, but it doesn't matter. It's about the product and its purpose, not about what it looks like. All right? Okay. So. Go ahead and clean that up a little bit and go ahead and more risk these lines. I'm moving around a little bit. Oh, sorry, I knocked you again. In any case, it's kind of odd talking to my camera and there is an audience right there. And I'm sorry you hit, I keep hitting it. And it's getting a focus where I'm used to just talking to people and live. So, being my first one, uh, hopefully I'm doing okay for y'all. In any case, going off of this, I'm going to go ahead and shade the rest of this end up here. <laughs> Mickey Mouse head. Say hello to Mickey. Da -da -da. Got those sideburns happening. And for the most part, I'm going to leave a little neck. Some little hair. I think we'll have something going on here. I'm not sure. In any case, he's got his little neck and his body off to the side. And this is our Mickey Mouse. Um, no, this is hopefully a, a good way for you to learn or just learn about basic shapes and how you don't have to be perfect with it all, just play around. And uh, leave any comments below if you like, if you have suggestions of what you'd like me to draw or if there's something different or even if you want to give your opinion of how he looks and he doesn't look like him or if you see something silly or something else that you would like to acknowledge. Um, like I said, my name is Lee Lacey. This is my monogram or my logo so everybody knows me about. Um, if you do see my work or if you are interested in any of my work, please do hit me up and I can always do commissions. All right. Thank you and I will see you next Wednesday.